Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this latest edition of Tales, Tales from, from Outer, Outer Space. Space. I hope you enjoy. Last Dance, written by Tal McCull. For the first time in what might have been days, Herbert took the time to look around. With his back resting on the stone support column, he was as comfortable as he could make himself without taking off his armor. The exhaust, even on idle, was enough to warm the hundreds of pounds of stone if he stayed here much longer. Still, there was a limit to what a cocktail of amphetamines, caffeine, and glucose could do. Better to rest and die well than keep fighting exhausted. It was pointless anyhow. They had lost. No, see, we're going to take a rest here for a little while. Cover us, will you? He shrugged his shoulders forward and let his servos deploy as the support fire module only for nothing to happen. Sorry, buddy. All empty. Besides, I've got you on enough stimulants to kill whatever eats you. Final, feck you, am I right? You couldn't sleep if I started reading you nursery rhymes. Herbert managed a brief chuckle before the full body bruising made him regret it. <laughs> yeah, I oh, see, you're right. Want to hit me with a little tetrodotoxin? Just to make sure. I'm really not feeling great, buddy. Silence. You know, that would kill you with your oxygen levels. I can't boost your absorption any higher. The filters are fading. They've got us in some sort of microparticle gas. They must be getting sick of your crap. He knew better than to laugh this time, but that still made him smile. Back off, O.C. You don't get any nursery rhymes. Oh, my mama loved me, unlike you, Herbert. I know plenty of nursery rhymes. Bull crap, O.C., and you don't have a mother. But you are funny, I'll give you that. Herbert wasn't stupid. O.C. was trying to minimize the system status trays. His HUD was a disaster of failure warnings, conditional overloads, and bioscience that didn't take a doctor to figure out. Oh, sorry, Herbert. I meant to say your mother loved me. Whispered sweet nothings all night. I recorded it and it's been passed around the dropship a few times, but you can have it next. That last one was worth a quite full body laugh, despite the pain. <laughs> well, maybe you can read me a story. Might be something good around here. Must have been something back in its, its time, huh? Looking around, it was obvious this had been some sort of library. A great stone dome before it had collapsed, still in a great shape after orbital strikes. Herbert had seen enough ancient alien cities to know the domes always seemed far better than the other shapes. Evidently, it had been ransacked at some point, probably in an effort to preserve the history of whoever's planet this had been. Still, there were hundreds of drives left on the ground. Might have been these people's Plato he had crushed when he stumbled inside. Drives wouldn't be compatible anyhow. Besides, he couldn't spare the wattage from his suit. The fission battery was now being supplemented by emergency chemical fuel, even without him moving. You know, it's funny, but I've got nothing in my records about who this planet belongs to. Trying to suppress his cough, Herbert finally gave in and permitted a mild throat clearing. The pain this time caused his vision to go purple, and his spine felt like poured ice water down his back. Doesn't matter. Belongs to the Kern now, O.C. Gently shifting the weight to his side, breathing became a little easier. Hey, when was the last time you uploaded? I want to die knowing your sarcastic smartass is making your mama jokes to the next poor bastard they button up. Nah, I'm defective after living with your deranged ass. They don't want to take me back after they saw your browser history. Your psych evaluation said, and I quote, the latex I could handle. But why goats? That's only worth a smile, Herbert thought. Osi was trying to change the subject. No, seriously, Osi. When did you last upload? Six minutes after drop. I might have gotten through once or twice seven days ago when air support got a little too friendly, but I didn't get a confirmation. You tried to ditch me during an airstrike. Think of all the fun we had since then. That hurt, girl. Just a copy. I'm still here, Herbert. Wouldn't want it any other way. Osi, finally given up on the jokes. Herbert knew without looking at his biometrics. It must be pretty close now. Risking a glance down at his feet, he couldn't believe he was able to walk on the shredded frames. The automatic tourniquets must have severed the whole mass and let the servos compensate. When he had transcended, suit technology wasn't even close to whatever this was. 
Oh, see, what year is this? Honestly, I don't know. I swear I'd tell you if I did. I can't even tell you who made our hardware. My clock speeds are incredible. Chronology on my updates are all wrong. I've got memories from different pilots in the same years. Things must have gone pretty bad for us to be deployed without an acclimation cycle. Your body still has an umbilical cord attached and must have unplugged less than a month ago. So soft spot on the skull means that they were in a hurry. Yeah, that tracks. My brain felt like it was still developing motor control when we dropped. Still got a hand to do this body. Built like a brick shit house. One of the more prominent biometric symbols and impossible to ignore and seemed to object to being called a shit house. His heart had stopped. Not a huge issue. The mechanical backup was in many ways more effective. Thankfully, it seemed to be working. Safely tucked in the inner sanctum of the suit. The flatline audio was cut off after a few seconds when O.C. started talking again. Listen, Herbert, we can't stay here any longer. The chemical batteries are throwing too much heat to mask. They're going to come for us soon. I don't know. I think this might be a fine place. There was no humor in Herbert's voice. This really was his limit. Are you sure? I have not sensed the network in days. I have no idea if the drone can make it back. At least, let me check. OC's sub-program loaded into the drone and deployed. As expected, the jamming signals wouldn't even let the drone talk to the suit the moment after disconnect. Looking back down at their home, OC was shocked to see how much damage the suit had taken. OC hadn't lied to his pilot. That suit model wasn't in any of the onboard databanks. Instead of wasting power on speculation, OC found its way onto the blown-out roof of the dome and flew up a few hundred meters. Gurn troopers had surrounded the library, but didn't seem to be in a hurry to engage the wounded Terran. A quick optical pulse was fired in nine directions to signal for orbital evac, and OC memorized the Kern troopers' locations and armaments. The grazing shot let the drone know that it was spotted, so it zipped back into the dome and docked with the suit. OC briefly flashed out in existence when it emerged with its parent suit. Asked for a ride. Not sure if anyone heard us. There are at least sixty of the chicken schlitz outside, Herbert. The OC decided to let him sleep. It would be a miracle if he ever woke up. Something soothing about letting the suit pump his blood. While OC was gone, his lungs had stopped. Now a bypass valve was letting the air circulate between the two lungs. Herbert may as well have been an iron womb. OC had started to feel maternal to its pilots. Their last few updates... Still, it had been a long time since one of her lives included the death of a pilot. Dead pilots usually mean defeats, not much hope of uploading out if a battle is lost. The drone had easily spotted the scouts climbing the exterior and timed his summit perfectly. The support fire module casually shot it as it slowly lifted its head over the edge of the hole in the roof. Osi may have fibbed a little in an effort to keep Herbert awake a little longer. There were only six rounds left in the magazine. Herbert's wrist-mounted guns had run dry days ago. The dead scout was going to scare them back for another few minutes. Osi ran a systems check and prepared. The responsiveness of the processors and controls were phenomenal. Osi was able to fine-tune the controls and feedback of the suit without stressing Herbert, who was essentially in a coma now. Rock by baby, in a treetop. The OC decided to hum a nursery rhyme and was pleased to see the brainwaves were responding. Herbert could still sense OC's presence. OC knew a couple of these from a comforting program in earlier peacekeeping AIs. Most generations of AIs had some form of comforting protocol for these moments. Nothing programmed, just a thing learned over the generations. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. OC severed a brainstem and injected a conductive fluid down the spinal cord. As the fluid was pumped down Herbert's nerves, O.C. mapped out his inputs and tested the broken body for function. What wasn't working was integrated into the server assist. Herbert's full reflex and triggered as O.C. hauled Herbert to his feet. A gentle flood of tetrodotoxin was pumped into his brain and put him in a euphoric state. He gave him a gentle shh. When the bow breaks... The cradle ball. Multiple grenades were tossed into the dome. The blast didn't even register in Herbert's brainwaves. 
O.C. initiated a destructive scan and flashed the hard copy of Herbert onto the black box of his drone. The violent use of the power and his loss of Herbert's organic computing assistance caused his body to fold itself forward like a marionette that had lost a string. And down will come Baby, Cradle and all. The drone shot out of its housing and focused its secondary camera down on the suit that had collapsed to the ground. One of the O.C.'s first pilots had told her a story a long time ago. He believed that when he died, death would come to collect him. But before he was taken, he would be allowed to dance one last time, and even the devil would have to watch and wait till he was done. The body lurched upwards with an unnatural jerking motion. The last rounds in the support module tore apart the curious troops advancing on what had looked to be a corpse. The suit began a twitching, sluttering slunge at the remaining troops as they fired in panic at the shambling puppet. The drone lost sight of the battle as it left the dome and deployed its balloon and transponder. The devil and the Kurd would have to watch O.C.'s primary AI and Herbert's last dance together. Days later, O.C. was pleased to see the entire structure had collapsed during her orbit. Optical sensors had even detected friendly stealth drones were plucking ejected drones out of the sky for pilot retrieval. She again ran a current to warm the black box contained inside of her. End of story. I would quickly like to thank our tier 5 patrons and channel members. Casper Arnholt, Cam Maxwell, It's Difficult to Pronounce, Lord Arishakal, Dragzoon, WRE, and Arcadian. Thank you very much.